so hello guys i know it's been a while and you're probably like you look rough and i'm like you're not wrong but i'm going to be doing a day in my life so i kind of just woke up it's a almost 10 i woke up a while ago but i've only been sitting in bed and uploading stories to um my instagram to see if you guys wanted something like this since it's been so long but majority of you said yes so here i am I have a very, very, very busy day ahead of me, jam-packed. I was not productive at all yesterday. I think I'm starting to get sick and I just really did not feel good. So I basically stayed in bed all day. And when I'm not productive one day, I have to be productive the next. So today is Monday. I work Tuesday through Saturday, so I have Sundays and Mondays off. It's a little different, but that's just how it is so today is monday it's technically my sunday first things first i need to clean my room because it is absolutely atrocious and um yeah it is a mess so we are gonna clean that in three two one okay it is all clean and i wanted to share with you guys this is my favorite candle right now from bath and body works it is absolutely amazing i'm in love with it but as you can see we are all clean i need to go take that laundry downstairs and i need to make some coffee asap that could have been the worst part of my day so obviously in editing you will not see how long it took me to make that cup of coffee but I have a Keurig, as you obviously saw, and I got it a few years ago for college. And one of my old roommates, not Amanda, if anyone's wondering, <laughs> older than that, one of my old roommates, I don't know if she did it on purpose or if she's just really that dense, but she put, like, coffee grounds, like, you know, that you get in a can, into the Keurig like I know you can use coffee grounds in a Keurig but you have to use that special pod and put the coffee grounds in that pod and then that pod in there she just put the coffee grounds I physically mean like scooped it and put it where you would put the pod and try to make coffee that way so now ever since she did that there's been a problem with my Keurig where it keeps telling me the water's like under pressure but it's because the coffee grounds are like wedged in there all over the place and so i wanted to get ready and leave for the gym by 10 30 but now it's 10 37 and i just made this stuff so i'm going to be watching james charles and liza koshi's new video it's 27 minutes long so i definitely won't get through all of it i don't think but i'm gonna try to eat and drink this as fast as possible and change for the gym and head on out so oh i'm shiny that's for sure Okay, so somehow I mustered up the strength to just to go to the gym. I think maybe the coffee finally kicked in. I don't know. I'm not going to go too hard because I haven't been there in a while, number one. And number two, I'm really not feeling the greatest. Like I said yesterday, I stayed in bed all day and today I'm like really nasally and I think you can tell my voice is a little weird. So usually... um when I go to the gym, since I'm not filming in the gym, sorry, that one's not happening, but I do the treadmill for 30 minutes. It depends how I feel. Sometimes I do a very intense treadmill workout. Um, some days I keep it a little more low key, which is probably what I'm gonna do today. And then after, which I won't be doing today, I usually do abs and your butt or something in one of the rooms they have. But today, I think I'm just going to go pretty easy on the treadmill for a half hour and just kind of leave it at that. But I am not going to vlog and drive, so I am headed there now. And I will probably pick back up the camera when I get out of the gym. Not naked, 
just warning you guys so I think the last clip I filmed was me just like folding some laundry now I took a shower sorry if I'm like talking weird or have a list I have white strips in um if you guys want to know I use those crest white strips I use a specific kind let me find them they look like this they're the professional effects if you can see I've tried other ones like other crest white strips and for some reason oh this almost came off ha 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 no thank you it's not that kind of channel I've used other whitening strips from Crest, like the other 3D white ones, but I just feel like none of them whiten as well as the professional effects ones. I don't know. So these you leave on for a half hour, 30 minutes, but um, my teeth are very sensitive, especially in my bottom teeth. So I don't know if you can tell, but I left the bottom ones on only for 15 minutes half the time, and then I take them off. I do leave the top ones on for 30 minutes. Usually they're fine, but I can't do it very often. I can do it maybe like once a week, once every two weeks. Otherwise, they get very, very, very sensitive and like hurt, and I can't leave the bottom ones on for the full time. But I've noticed when I take them off after 15 minutes, it still whitens them and they don't get sensitive so I leave those on for 15 and I leave the top one on for the full time and I'll just do it like a once a week once every two weeks it kind of sucks because if I didn't have sensitive teeth I could just use it every day and like do it every day for a week and then be done with it but I kind of have to like spread it out over two months but you know what you gotta do what you gotta do when you love coffee. Okay, this angle honestly makes me look naked. And my circles, yeah, this is what I mean when I said I had to put on concealer before I went to the gym. I don't know if this happens to you guys, but drinking coffee for me is such like a 50-50 thing. Either it gives me so much energy, so much motivation, I'm focused, I want to do everything, or I get like mind-numbing anxiety. And usually... It tilts more towards being focused, which is why I keep drinking it because I know a lot of people are probably like, well, Sam, if it gives you anxiety, just stop drinking it. It's like a 70-30 type of deal. So it is still kind of a gamble, but it's like 70% of the time it does make me focus. Today, of course, of all days, I'm like driving to the gym and I feel the anxiety setting in and I'm like, oh God, this is not going to be good. But thankfully, I powered through my workout. I think because I go to the edge, I think everyone knows what that is. I think they're like all over the place. But the one that I have specifically has like a movie theater. So it's like a big projection screen and they have um, like the bikes in there. They have ellipticals and they have treadmills in there. So thankfully I went in there. I hopped on a treadmill. I did the half hour. I did like a medium workout. It wasn't too vigorous, but it wasn't like I just was walking the whole time. And um, that movie Crazy Rich Asians was on, which I actually want to see but have never seen before. So I think since I wanted to see that movie, I was very focused on it and I wasn't thinking about my immense anxiety from drinking that cup of coffee. I have a big thing of water that I'm going to completely chug after I take these white strips off. But I put the white strips on, took a shower really quick, and now I am going to edit some of that video that I filmed forever ago. I don't know if you guys remember, but I talked about it. It was the boxy charm review slash tutorial for um november i've also want to been want to show you guys i have been experimenting up the wazoo with um like matte primers so someone a while ago suggested soap and glory ones i got two soap and glory ones one is the fab pore three and one oil control serum so this like like i said it's more of a serum and then I got the other one. I don't know if I, I think I put it away. I got the other one too, which is like their actual like oil control primer. And these made me break out like no other. I got whiteheads all over my face. And then I tried the NYX Shine Killer. It looks like this. And again, it made me sorry the lighting's so bad here again it made me break out and gave me white heads and i'm like jesus like why but then i found this one it's cyo i got it at walgreens i i don't think i've ever seen it there before or maybe it has been 
I don't know where to find it. I found this at Walgreens. So, I mean, I'm sure you could buy anything on Amazon. You could get everything on Amazon. So just look on Amazon. But it's CYO. It's a matte and blur primer. And I actually really like it. So it may not be as good as the other ones with like the oil control, but it's like the best it can be without blocking, without clogging my pores, if that makes sense. Yeah, so I don't know if you can tell, but I have been scraping the sides of this to get as much off as I possibly can. It is safe to say that I am out of that. So I'm only going for two things. I'm gonna make sure I don't buy anything else, although, actually, never mind. I do need um, more airspun. It's like, yeah, I need more. So, um, I've come to the conclusion with makeup that I need to start using up the things that I own because I just start like jumping to new things without using up the things that I like. And then they just sit there and they go bad or I just never use them again and I waste some money. So I really need to start using up the things that I like. But I'm gonna edit this for a little bit, let my hair air dry just a tad, and then I'm gonna get ready and I will see you on the flip side. Also, still not naked, okay, bye. I am all ready now. I did a nice brown theme and I think it's really cool because my eyes are more of a warm brown and my lips are more of a cool brown and I don't know, I'm just feeling it. I like it, my highlight is popping. I'm wearing a very simple outfit, nothing really to write home about, but I just feel like I put so much effort into my hair and my makeup that when it came to my outfit, I was like. So right now, me and my sister are going to Bed Bath & Beyond. We have tons of coupons. And we're going to try to get my parents Christmas presents. I did say before I was going to go to Ulta, but I am like so tired that I just really don't feel like it anymore. I'll have to make do until maybe like Wednesday because I'm pretty busy on Tuesdays. So maybe Wednesday I'll get to go to the mall really quick and like pick up the, that like stuff. So I'm probably going to wait maybe until this weekend just to get the stuff I need. But I definitely need Christmas presents, so... Let's go to Bed Bath & Beyond and see what I can find. Little oily. <laughs> but I am back now from Bed Bath & Beyond. Honestly, it was such a bust. I'm starting to run out of ideas on what to get my parents. So this is going um, about as well as to be expected. So whatever. But it is 4.30 now. I'm about to upload the video that I edited today. My BoxyCharm video. Um, actually, I'll probably set it to upload tomorrow because it's kind of late now. But I'm just going to end this here because I'm probably just going to do some online Christmas shopping and just try to just get everyone's shit out of the way. But that's pretty much it for me for tonight because I do have to work tomorrow. So I am not living it up right now. I am winding down for the weekend. But thank you guys so much for um, spending my Monday with me. Even though you're most likely not watching this on a Monday. But that's fine. Because this was an honest day in my life. This is really what I do. I know, it's like so glamorous, like all the Gucci bags and the Fendi clothes and the Louboutins. I mean, it's just out of this world. Definitely be sure to give this a thumbs up if you like more vlog styles. I have heard from some people that they want me to bring back more vlog style things since I have done a bunch of sit down videos recently. And so I just want to give you guys what you want. Be sure to comment down below any other things that you would like to see from me, any other types of videos. I will definitely be doing more vlog ones just because I like them. They're pretty easy to film. They don't take as much effort as sit down ones, at least for me. Definitely subscribe if you want to see more of this precious little face on uh, your YouTube's channel, okay? So I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next video.